Hello and welcome to Stammer Run with me, John. It's been a little while since I've done a, um, a blog, vlog post, um, as it was. And um, today I thought I would try out this uh, new piece of kit that I bought as opposed to the the massive um, camera that I use um, on the every day. So I'm hoping that with this particular camera I'll be able to give you more of an insight onto the every single day and give you a unique perspective as to some of the things that I do in the day. So this this week we are 17th of um, of January and um, I've I've gone back to work Christmas is over and things have kind of now gone back to a normality I guess or a new way um, to do things and I've gone back to work and so far so so good um, I guess and I'm just continuing to do to do that in terms of um, the depression uh, the, the bipolar um, and all that kind of stuff. I've been having something called uh, CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy. I said that in single take, which is is good. Um, and for those who don't know what that is, it's basically a way to be able to change the way that you that you think. Um, so. In my case, it's I'm not the biggest fan of myself, and never have been, and it's all linked to do with the stammer. Now, it's not necessarily the stammer, but it's what the stammer represents to me, and you know that's linked to something that happened to me when I was a child, which caused me to have the stammer. And then, of course, every time I do stammer, you know, it kind of links back to the past. So. The CBT kind of helps, or it it helps one just to talk it out. And the person that I'm speaking to, she's fantastic. And you know, you I'm asked questions um, that I have to think about, and trying to retrain my brain into thinking a different way. Now, the point that. I've made is that the acceptance piece from me is is that I'm probably never going to be the biggest fan of me and while I always have not so good thoughts about myself probably yes but it's learning to live and it's learning to be me so there's no more hiding of the stammer there's no more it's trying to think in a different way and just getting people to accept me for me but giving them the opportunity to to see me as me and accepting me so it's for me to accept who I am and kind of stop trying to to hide things um, away and give people an opportunity to see the real me so that's quite that's quite a scary thing and you know she made a good point whereby you know I've been fortunate via the uh, the YouTube and um, as much as it's still really really small um, and I'm getting to like favorite and subscribe that would be amazing um, and the Spotify the podcast um, it's given me an opportunity to talk to people and you know I I think that people who go through the mental health thing, um, stammering thing, are amazing people. I've always thought that. I've always had a had an um, an an admiration. I've always been very proud. Always been, you know, very in awe of people that go through stammering because I know how hard it is. You know, who go through 
so many different things in their life. But I can't link that to me. So what I say to other people and what we speak about, I truly mean every word that I say. That I'm really proud of of you. I'm really proud of people that get on with it every single day and they have to go through stuff and they just continue. I know how hard it is and I'm really proud of you and I really admire you but I just can't link that with me so I had to do a task so there was some um, homework that I sort of had to do and the homework was to do with think of events and things that you do and 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 that and try and put some nice words around that so the only way I was able to do that was to look at myself from a third person and look at it and from a logical perspective on how I felt at the time and being able to put these words down. And I think people find it really hard to say nice things about themselves anyway um, and really hard to describe themselves. But I can't. I can't, I find I really struggle trying to, um, I really struggle to say nice things about me, not because I'm looking for things, nice things to be said. I find praise really uncomfortable. You know, I know people may think, you know, I'm here and, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking here and, you know, it may seem as though I'm, looking for exposure or you know but I truly am and that's not what it's about um, and I find it really 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 difficult to accept praise um, so from a fact base I can understand it. so I'm approaching this the CBT from a analytical perspective because that's how that's what I do that's what I've always I've always had a role where I analyze and the only way for me to be able to accept the CBT is to see it from a scientific perspective and analyzing myself and using myself as an experiment to see what I can do and see if I can change the patterns um, in my head um, and that's sort of how it's it's been um, and it has helped think talking about it you know, the, the the first step it is like a um a cliche um that the first the first step to anything is to is to talk to somebody and to get help because the what is it they say the 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 definition of um um of madness is you do the same thing again and again and again and, and you expect it to work and it doesn't work um so, you know, I implore you again to, if you want to get some help and you feel that you need help and you can't cope, reach out to somebody. Um, and then in other other things, um, I I guess I feel pretty good. Um, I think I'm on a bit of a, I think I was in a bit of a high and then I sort of come down um, a bit, but I, I, I'm I'm kind of holding, um, and I feel pretty good. I've been, I've been at the gym. Um, you know, I've been out and about. I've been out with the kids. I've been, you know, I've, I've I guess I've been back to my sort of everyday self. And you know, there's been a, a lot of hard work to financially, um, as well as personally, um, as well. So. You know, just trying to keep things ticking um, along. And yeah, it's actually been quite a good couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, I hope it continues um, in this way. So if you feel that you are, if you need help, um, please reach out um, for help. You know, please feel free to contact me. Um, I think my email is 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 there or um, comments. Please feel free to 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 put something 
in there as well and um yeah hopefully the week will continue and we'll catch up very soon thank you for listening don't forget to like favorite and subscribe as it